Hello and welcome to my very first Blender tutorial which is on how to model a basic looking human using Blender 2.49b Before I start I'd like to let you know that if you are an absolute beginner you might have difficulty following this tutorial To follow this properly you need to be familiar with the Blender interface and navigation in it So we start Blender before I start drawing anything I'll just hide the lamp and the camera that's by right clicking and then pressing H so first we have to choose a background image on which we'll model our human I have one over here basically uh, any kind of uh, image will do but uh, the one with arms spread is more preferable as you'll, as you'll find it easy to model so we have to align the uh, nose with the central axis so we can do it by changing the x offset value so just make sure yeah so as soon as that is done we can uh, switch to front view by pressing numpad 1 and then right click on the cube and tab into edit mode uh, select face select mode and uh, delete the top right bottom and the left face press x and select only faces once that is done we have to apply two modifiers first one is the mirror modifier choose uh, enable x axis mirror and enable do clipping and also choose the apply modifier due to editing cage option once that is done just select all the vertices and drag the cube to, to the side and uh, after that just choose subsurf modifier and choose level 2 and set render level to level 3 and also enable optimal draw button so we pick up from where we last left just tap back into edit mode and make sure all the vertices are selected uh, and go to vertex select mode and just drag the whole cube upwards if you want you can nav navigate into wireframe mode by pressing Z and make sure that the cube is approximately aligned with the point where the neck starts coming from this basically this top edge should be adjusted according to the neck and then select all the side vertices and drag them inside so that they are aligned with the point where the arm starts uh, arising from once that is done uh, uh, select all the vertices and press S to scale them and press Y to constrain them along the Y axis this basically is the width of our human model you can adjust it to any suitable size I've just chosen 0.4 over here which I think will be suitable for my model it doesn't have to be 0.4 you can change it to any value you like but just make sure it, uh, it's suitable to what you are drawing once that is done, D press A to deselect all the vertices and choose these four vertices. Press E to extrude them and choose the only edges option. As you can see, you have a you have new set of edges which are extruded, but make sure that you don't click anywhere else or press Enter and press S to scale them and just make sure the new set of edges are a little bit smaller than the original edge once that is done press S to scale them along the scale them and press Z to constrain the scaling along the Z axis and make sure that the edges more or less form a square this is important because uh, if this is not uh, in a square form your arm which will be coming out of here will be distorted once that is done press 1 to navigate into front view and just make sure 
that these two points uh, are aligned with the arm if not you can just press S to scale again and scale the vertices down and make sure that the vertices uh, are aligned with the arm once that is done press E to extrude again and choose only edges and grab the extruded vertices just ahead and make sure at every point the vertices are aligned with the size of the arm so you basically just have to repeat this step th repeat this step along the length of the arm the more extrusions you do till the end of the arm the more precision your model will have and the more control you will have over the shape of the arm so I'll just uh, keep on extruding as I've said until I cover the whole length of the arm if you want you can press Z to come back out of wireframe mode and you can see the arms are starting to take shape just uh, as the hand will start coming uh, the palms will start coming out from this edge I'll just scale it down along the Y axis Okay. You can activate set smooth to get a more uh, better look and if you see any black edges forming as I have here you can just tab into edit mode select all the vertices and press ctrl n to recalculate the normals outside and now you can see that uh, that is rectified and you have the shape of your arm over here to model the hands we have to select the rightmost vertices by after going into front view by pressing B and using box select then just extrude these edges a bit ahead and make sure that the vertices are al aligned with the shape of the palm if not then press S to scale and press Z to constrain the scaling along Z axis it is important to scale only along the Z axis because this will make sure that your palm has a uniform width just repeat this about three times and should have your palm once this is done we need to uh, make the fingers come out to do that just select these two vertices and press W to W and choose subdivide you have to subdivide two times so that you get three newly formed vertices in, be in between the two original ones repeat these for the other edge as well once that is done you have to choose two adjacent vertices and press F to make an edge repeat these three times so that you get four slots for the four fingers you have to select any four vertices and press E to extrude and choose only edges and press S to scale and scale it down a little bit again repeat the same thing for all the fingers press S and rather than selecting these vertices individually you can just press alter and left mouse button which loop selects these four vertices together 
press E to extrude, select only edges, press S to scale and make sure that the middle finger has a bigger square and the little finger has the smallest one and the other two fingers should have a square of approximately the same size now to finally form the fingers just choose any one of these squares by uh, pressing alt and left mouse button and extrude them along the length of the finger So as you can see the ends are open, to close them we need to select these four vertices by pressing alt and left mouse button and press E to extrude, S to scale and manually enter a value of 0 and press enter. You can see the all the four vertices converge to a single point and uh, press W and choose the remove double options and you should get a removed three vertices dialog box repeat the same thing for remaining three fingers as well To make the thumb, we need to first go into face select mode and choose this face and press X to delete and choose only faces. Go back to vertex select mode and you should have these four vertices selected already and press E to extrude, choose only edges and press S to scale. Now to make sure that the shape of the thumb is correct, you uh, I'll just scale them down along the X axis by pressing X and then X and uh, go, go back into front view as you can see I don't have a thumb in the background picture so I'll just extrude these edges and choose a suitable length for the thumb and to close the end we need to repeat the same thing as we did for the fingers press E to extrude, choose only edges, press S to scale enter 0, press enter and then press W and choose the remove doubles options once that is done you can tab out of edit mode and you can see some black edges forming near the finger region again to rectify that tab back into edit mode, press A to select all the vertices and press control N and to calculate re recalculate the normals outside you should see that the black edges are gone and our hand is complete <coughs>